The kids are home and teachers are trying to make sure students don't fall behind. That's the reason why here at 13 Action News we're committed to our 13 Connects community initiative called Super Summer Rise. We're focusing on our children's education and development as they stay home during the pandemic and also into the summer months. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted just about everything. When it comes to our kids, being out of the classroom means big learning losses. In today's Super Summer Rise, 13 Action News anchor Jackie Kostek explores what's known as the COVID-19 slide, who it's impacting the most and what can be done. To understand the COVID-19 slide, you first have to look at the period of time kids across the country have not been in physical classrooms. This is going to be, for most kids, the longest time that they haven't been in a school building for, a, for their whole education. Assuming CCSD students return to class in August, they'll have been out of school for six months. That's about double the time of a normal summer break when learning loss typically happens. Recent models from the nonprofit Northwest Evaluation Association or NWEA and the education software company Achieve 3000 show the learning drop off this year is staggering. We will see about a 28% slide or learning loss by June 1st, call it the end of this school year. And based on prior research that many others have done uh, with normal summer learning loss, we expect that slide to be up to about 49%. That means students could return to school remembering just half of what they learned last year. Numbers from the NWEA are a bit more optimistic when it comes to reading, showing students returning with 70% of their previous year's growth. But for math, it's only 50%. We're worried about the amount of loss we'll see in mathematics more directly than reading because we can pick kids up in reading. We can sort of figure out where they are and advance them. Uh, in mathematics, if they miss a key concept, it's going to be really hard and we need to make sure we're filling those gaps. Education experts agree the COVID-19 slide is happening and the students it's hitting the hardest are the ones who already have the most barriers when it comes to learning. Kids who live in poverty, English language learners and those in special education. That achievement gap is growing and it's not surprising because we know we have equity and access issues in America. So if you're more poor, you uh, have less likelihood of having devices like Chromebooks or iPads or laptops or desktops in your home. You're secondly less likely to have access in terms of cable or telecom connectivity. Uh, and so before you can even get to teaching and instruction, you have to provide that. CCSD understands this. So far, the district has passed out more than 100,000 Chromebooks to students, almost a third of the district. But there are approximately 20,000 students who still don't have one. The district has also set up school buses with high power Wi-Fi. We're still delivering food. We're giving Chromebooks, we're delivering food today. The teachers are saying, you know, that now I have high school students who are taking full-time jobs because mom and dad have lost their jobs. And that's where I say, you know what, let's just be there, be part of that social network for our kids to connect, know that we care, and we're gonna do, we are preparing and we're planning but when they come back, we can focus on being kids again and, and helping them accomplish what they need to do. CCSD Superintendent Jesus Jara says for now, the district is focused on caring for the welfare of families, providing access to technology and exploring opportunities for enrichment, blended learning and possible face to face opportunities with teachers all with the health and safety of kids and employees top of mind. While the challenge is big, Dr. Jara is hopeful. This is hard work, um, but this is a great community. And I think one of the things that are gonna help us is this wonderful community that's gonna wrap their arms around our families and our kids. Um, so that kind of is what keeps me going. So what can you do for your kids right now to help minimize the loss in learning? Experts say read. Jackie Kostek, 13 Action News. Dr. Jara right now is working with a group of teachers, principals, and parents and expects to have a recommendation for the board by June 1st. To find this story as well as other resources you can use for your family, just head over to our website, ktmb.com slash summer rise. And at 13 Connect, Super Summer Rise campaign is sponsored by America First Credit Union and Subaru of Las Vegas.